Wake up, Ted. Wake up. Bear, wake up. What in the... Why are you yelling? You passed out. No. <clears throat> I was just... Just resting my eyes for a minute. Shut up and listen. I was in the auditorium just now and saw some commotion up here. Up here? It seems someone snuck up on you and hit you over the head with that bottle. Sure. Why not? That's what happened. I think whoever knocked you out locked the door behind me. Wait, we're locked in. Most definitely. Hmm. Any other exits? There's a projection window, but the projector's too close. Can't squeeze through. Okay. Let's see if you can move that thing somehow. Bought of old Carrot Hill. Someone hit Ted over the head with it. Yeah, those bastards, you know. Hmm. Could be something useful inside. It's a wrench. I'll take it. This one really stands out. There's no title, though. I'll take this one. Maybe we can use it on that window over there. Huh. It's as thick as they come. Must be something important. Pup Fiction. Twelve Angry Hens. Citizen Dane. Seen any? All of them. Betty used to make me take her to the cinema all the time. Betty? Let's not. Just a regular white sheet. Sheets are underrated. I'll take it with me. Ah, uh, I guess. It's differently tabled. Okay, just get out. I'm really trying, kid. It says, make a spare key. Bingo. What does the other one say? It says, why didn't you make a spare key yet? Oh, for the love of... It's locked, as established earlier. I don't have the key. We need to find another way out. It's filled with stuff, I guess. Good guess. Broken. Can you fix it, Bear? No. Besides, there's literally another one that works right next to it. A working projector. That's... neat. I can't move the projector right now. It's locked in place. A working projector. That's... neat. I can't move the projector right now. It's locked in place. It's spinning. But that's about it. I should turn it off first. I kind of like my fingers. It's an on-off switch. Pretty self-explanatory. Hmm. This could be our way out. But the projector is in the way. I can't reach it. The projector's in the way. I'll just leave it here on the floor. That's a good idea. I just need to move it back a bit before I start tampering with it. Hmm. It seems any type of film could fit here. That's a good idea. I just need to move it back a bit before I start tampering with it.
It's resting on these small rails. I can't unscrew this by hand. There. We should be able to move it now. Can't tighten the screws by hand. There. We can get a bit closer to the window now. What are you even doing here? It was your sister's idea. It's... this whole thing. Hey, where is she? How come you're here? She had to take care of something. She asked me to step in for a bit. She did? That's what I just said. Hmm. Anyways, I'm not explaining all of this to you. Why not? You'll be gone as soon as Amber gets back, so what's the point? We both know this detective game isn't your cup of tea, superhero boy. She... She what? Where is she? I told you. She had something to do. You know, in real life. Hmm. She hasn't told me anything. Well, she was in a hurry. All this sounds really strange, kid. You know that. Look, you can talk to her when she gets back. Get off my case. Fine. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here first, and then I'll brief you in. Now if I could tie this to the window, maybe we could use a projector to pull it open. The window is stuck. I need to find a way to yank it open. Okay, this could work. There. The film looks strong enough. Go for it. I can't use it now. The projector will slide back again. Can't tighten the screws by hand. Let's lock it in place. Great job, kid. Vandalism at its best. That's it. Our way out of here. It's too high to jump. We need some kind of rope. This sheet is too short by itself. Bought of old Carrot Hill. Someone hit Ted over the head with it. Yeah, those bastards, you know. It's filled with stuff, I guess. Good guess. This sheet is too short by itself. I'll take it with me. We can tie these into a rope. There! Now I can use it as a rope! There we go. Holy sheet, kid. You actually pulled it off. There. Nothing to it. You didn't pull a muscle, did you? Pull a muscle? I'm made of stuffing. Anyways, let's get going. Go where? What were you even doing here? Okay, quick briefing. Robots are disappearing all over the city, and their union hired me and your sister to find out who's behind it. And? And what? Who's behind it? What do you? We're in the middle of the goddamn investigation. Sounds like sloppy work to me. Yeah, like you'd know what work sounds like. Fair enough. There was this guy who went missing, Robbie, left a coat behind with a movie ticket. So? The date on the ticket, it was the same night he went missing. Okay, I get it. Anyways, I didn't find anything. But, somebody else was apparently bothered by us snooping around here. That's good. How's that good? Relatively. 
It means we're on the right track. Let's go back to the entrance. Rossum, the old robot who works here, he must have seen someone enter after us. To the entrance, Dad. Keep it down, goddammit. What is this, loud idiot day? So, where's this robot of yours? Hmm, I guess he left. He left, all right. Left everything wide open and all the lights on. Is trust not valued anymore by your generation? I can't tell if you're being serious. I'm not. Where the hell is this Ross guy, Ted? Rossum. And I don't know, kid. He was here before. He let me in. There are bolts all over the floor. And it kind of looks like... God damn it. You think? He's gone, kid. Whoever locked us in there, they've got him now. So? Now what? Look around for a bit. See if you can find anything. Sure. These screws. They belong to old Rossum. How can you tell? Stainless steel. All the robots are using them. Plus, they weren't here before. I'll pick them up. It's some sort of flyer. Jungle Jazz Bar. It says, get your ass down to Jungle Jazz Bar this weekend and try our famous Southside Fizz. One free drink with this coupon. Take it with you. Um, I feel like it's an important clue. Hmm. The coupon part was torn off, Ted. Throw it away then. Who cares? I'll take it with me. Maybe we could use it somehow. Just trash. I don't feel like going through it. You and me both, kid. There's no one here. And I could see some signs of struggle. Nah, I don't want to sell tickets. Hey, it's the pole that keeps the ropes, uh, in between. It's called a stanchion. Really? Yep, I had to look it up. I'll take it with me. I could use it as a club, maybe. Planet Cheese? What the? What's the deal? Who knows? These new ones. They're all the same. This one feels especially cheesy. That looks stupidly dangerous. Yeah, sure. Let me just grow several stories high real fast. Who are you talking to? Let's head back to the Union and report to Lifty. Never took you for the by-the-book guy. Me neither. But what else are we going to do? Stand here like a couple of boobs? I mean...